Well, it certainly wasn't something I thought about growing up or in college in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, it never, none of this came to the forefront until I had a child with a disability. Part of what we needed to do was come up with a vision for what was his life going to be like. And my wife and I thought long and hard about that, and the thing that kept coming to the forefront is that he would feel like he belonged. Think of who you are as a person now. You know, you, you have a job, but you also have hobbies and interests and passions. And a lot of that was formed growing up, not just through the academic experience of school, but through the social and emotional experience of school, of being with lots of different kinds of kids and people and learning to be challenged in your presumptions and learning that diversity is a broad spectrum of people. Unless you live that diversity day in and day out, I don't think you ever grasp that. And I don't think you ever develop socially and emotionally the way that you need to. To belong when you're a child that uses a wheelchair, that has a significant speech disorder and other challenges, you know, you need to be in a community that believes that all people belong in your schools, in your extracurricular activities, that all kids can learn, that all kids can go on to college. And, uh, and when you think about that level of accessibility, you're talking about every part of our society. So thankfully, we're in a community that believes that kids with disabilities belong in general education because 30 years of research shows that inclusive education for kids with disabilities yields better outcomes academically, socially, in terms of their jobs, in terms of their access to college. Access, accessibility, inclusivity has to be a lens that you start from the very beginning when you're thinking about what software to purchase. How do you write code? Who do you work with on your team? Can we bring in a more diverse team of people to think about this? Can we beta test our, our projects with people who have different challenges and different abilities? Once you have that lens of inclusivity and accessibility, you start looking at all different aspects of our society and saying, hmm, is this really designed in the best possible way? Is it the most universally designed technology? So I think that IT folks, you know, first they have to have that, that motivation. They have to believe that college is a place for all learners. And there are increasingly uh, students of all different kinds of abilities and disabilities going to college. There are actually oh, 270 programs around the country at universities that are specifically geared towards bringing more students with disabilities into the college environment. Um, so once you have that lens and that motivation, then you think, how am I gonna universally design the technology from the beginning? And especially when you have the opportunity to take on new projects and build new infrastructure, if that's your lens from the beginning, you're gonna save so much work in terms of trying to retrofit it down the line to meet new ADA requirements requirements or new accessibility requirements. Mm -hmm.